In this video, I'm going to show the relative transmit performance of some different GMRS radios that I have. So the first one is this DeWalt brand. They claim it's a three watt and it's kind of a cool radio because it's waterproof. I use it to go kayaking. This is the Rocky Taki five watt radio and I have both a long antenna and a short antenna for it. This is a Wuxin KG UV9D and it's a ham radio but it can broadcast on GMRS also because it's unlocked and for this one I have a long antenna and a short antenna too that I'm going to compare and this is the Baofeng UV5R that can transmit on GMRS and this is this is actually an FRS radio but it's all the same channels as GMRS and this is a BCA Link 1.0 FRS radio that's more for backcountry skiing and stuff like that. But I'm going to throw that in too. Also, I'm comparing it against this Radiodity DB20G mobile radio. And I have both a tram quarter wave tiny antenna on an NMO mount. And I have a Larson 30 inch higher gain antenna that's supposed to be almost 6 dB gain. The receiving station is just another Baofeng UV5R I have that's going to be sitting on the kitchen table in my house. The purpose of this test is just to compare the relative transmit performance of these different radios. It's not to see how far GMS is capable of transmitting or anything like that. It doesn't matter that this antenna is inside my house because I'm just comparing the different radios to each other, not trying to optimize talking distance and number of FARs these radios have. This location is 0.46 miles from my house. The receiving radio is that direction. And it's approximately line of sight, but there are a bunch of trees and a few houses in the way. Some buildings. DeWalt GMRS radio at 0.46 miles. Rocky Talkie 5 watt with small antenna at 0.46 miles. Rocky Taki 5 watt with long antenna at 0.46 miles. Wuxin with short antenna, 0.46 miles. Wuxin with long antenna, 0.46 miles. This is the Baofeng UV5R, 0.46 miles. EA Link 1.0, 0.46 miles. This is the BCA Link 1.0 at belt height, 0.46 miles. Then the 20 watt mobile at 0.46 miles with a short antenna. I'm out here next to the Truckee River. It is 2.4 miles to my house that way. Almost line of sight. There are some trees in the way, maybe a hill or two. This is the DeWalt. 3 watt GMRS radio testing, 2.4 miles, Rocky Talkie 5 watt radio with short antenna, testing 2.4 miles, Rocky Talkie walks in KG UV90 plus with short antenna, 2.4 miles. Wuxin with long antenna, 2.4 miles. BCA link 1.0 held up to my head height, 2.4 miles. And BCA link at my waist, 2.4 miles. 20 watt mobile radio with the tram quarter wave antenna. 2.4 miles. 20 watt mobile on 30 inch tall whip Larson antenna. 2.4 miles. 5.2 miles away from my house, which is that way. And yeah, I live in a river canyon, so <laughs> it's hard to find places you can still talk that are this far away. First radio, DeWalt GMRS handheld. Link, 5.2 miles, held high, 
20 watt mobile with the tram quarter wave. 20 watt mobile with the Larson high gain 30 inch antenna, 5.2 miles. So what did I learn from this test? From this test, I learned that the DeWalt radio, while handy for in some situations, it's kind of more of a toy than a serious radio for long distance communication. And the FRS BCA radio, same story. The three five watt radios all seem to perform about the same. And this Baofeng never ceases to amaze me how good it performs for the price. You know, for a $20 radio, it's right in there with the $180 Rocky Talkie and the maybe $130 Wuxin. So, you know, they're not durable and they have quality issues, but wow, they perform pretty well. Another thing I noticed is that the small antennas versus the large antennas on both the Rocky Talkie and the Wuxin, I couldn't tell the difference on the on the transmit performance anyway. Do they receive better? I don't know, that's another test I need to do, I guess. And the last thing I learned is that right now I have an NMO mount on my car with a quality Larson antenna. Both, of, well, I have a Larson antenna and a tram antenna on the NMO mount, and an NMO mount gives it a solid ground plane, and it's right in the center of the roof where uh, the, the mount is actually touching bare metal for the ground. What I used the last time I did a similar test was this. It's actually not even a Nagoya. It's a knockoff Nagoya. It's a dual band ham antenna on this cheap magnetic mount. The magnetic mount actually Radioddy sent it to me for free with my mobile radio is why I used it. And when I used this antenna and compared it to the handhelds, I came to the conclusion that this antenna on a mobile performs about the same as a handheld outside the car. When I redid the test with the NMO mount antennas, I found that's not true at all. And the mobile, I think it was clear to anybody watching this video, is that the mobile radio just blew these handhelds away when you have a quality antenna on it. So if you want good transmit performance with your mobile radio, get a quality antenna mount and antenna for your car.